Hi guys, thanks for stopping by, checking out this video. Um, recently I went to the eye doctor to get my annual um, eye exam to see if my vision prescription needs to be updated. And it did, it, it, would, it varied a little bit, or it changed a little bit. But the doctor also said that I had a slight bulge in the back of my right eye, and he wanted me to see a specialist to check it out. And I did, and the specialist said I had pigment, epithelium detachment and online it's they spell it a little bit differently pigment epithelial detachment um, and Drew's they wrote Drew's on here but it's more referred to that I can see as Drusen fatty deposits in the eye heart fatty deposits um, under your retina so um, that kind of sucked. I don't notice any immediate uh, effects from it right this moment, but um, on my eye exam and at the at the specialist, I was asked to, um, or I, they had me look at an Amsler grid, like that, to see if this focus on the center dot with one eye, the bad eye, and to see if any lines were wavy. And I don't know if it's the power of suggestion right now that I'm thinking about it, but when I cover one eye or close one eye and I look at it, some of the lines do look wavy. The, uh, the doctor, uh, the specialist said that it doesn't, um, it's, it's not a rapid increase in um, deterioration of your eye. It's, it's, it takes a while, but just to have it, it kind of sucks. I don't want to lose my vision, definitely. And, um, sorry. And it, it's uh, all a part of macular degeneration, the leading cause of eyesight loss uh, greater than glaucoma and I forgot what the other one was, but it's a leading cause of eye, uh, eyesight loss in uh, people over 40. I'm 51 right now. And the doctor said it doesn't usually present a problem, but now that I'm thinking about it, makes me a little concerned. I don't want to lose my vision, like I said. And um, so they said use this Amsler grid um, once or twice a week or something like that. But I'm going to use it all the time now just to see. Maybe not. Maybe once a week. If I just do it all the time, I'm not going to notice a difference. And I'm wondering if you guys have it. Anybody that watches this video, if, if any of you guys have this pigment epithelial detachment or Drew's Drusen let me know let me know how you're dealing with it um, just general eyesight loss and is is crappy in the first place I've had to wear glasses for seven or eight years now probably maybe more and I attribute that to a lifetime of looking at a screen especially in the last 10-15 um, years we all look at screens now and stare at screens whether it's your computer your TV your laptop, your phone, we all stare at a, at a computer screen, a digital screen somehow. And so that's what I always thought the original deterioration of my eyesight was uh, caused by. And um, yeah, this is just a, to see if anybody was, is out there that has the same condition and uh, maybe offer some comments on how to deal with it or um, your personal experience. Uh, once again, I, uh, well, Going back to my my, uh, my specialist visit, they did uh, suggest a list of vitamins, five or six vitamins that'll um, help the um, to slow the progression of macular degeneration. Right there, and I'm gonna definitely uh, check into that and maybe stock up on those vitamins. So yeah, that's just um, just sharing that. And like I said, just leave a comment if you have. Um, the same situation or um, if you have it and how you've dealt with it. So thanks for watching. Take care.